You have entered the plumbing business success zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. This is, you know, I don't like to, this may be in a kind of a bad analogy, yes. but you know, the, the movie Gladiator. You know, I don't know if you've seen the movie Gladiator. You know, it's a guy movie. I like that movie, mm -hmm. you know. And they're in that scene. There's a scene where they're all getting ready to go into the first ring, all get ready to fight. And the one guy is literally, you know, pissing his pants, his loincloth, you know. <laughs> well, and, you know, and the, the main character looks at that and kind of steps away from that. Well, it's really the character is stepping away from the fear because everyone's afraid. All business owners are uncomfortable at a minimum and a little nervous and, and fearful of what's going on here. It's a scary thing. But those that can continue forward to, can, mm -hmm. can think through the process. Just like I love what you said about watching both sides and you know what, what's the government's telling what are my customers. Right. <laughs> and so how am to I gonna, ha how, how do I adapt, make my business adapt to what mm -hmm. my customers are being told, okay? Right. Um, and move forward instead of letting the fear just grip you and wind up just- Paralyzing you. Know, you. Right. I think that's the best word. That's right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm kind of glad that you, you mentioned like the 2007, 2008, like that type stuff, right? right. So this is this here is going to be a really, really good lesson for a lot of people of what happened. Um, mm -hmm. And I look at it as a lesson, right? So those who survive through this whole thing and come out strong are the ones that, you know, uh, uh, adapt it or they had a healthy business already. Mm -hmm. So, right. you know, you get these guys that go, oh, you're charging too much or whatever. It's right. like, you know, mm -hmm. you got to have a healthy business to be able right. to weather some of these storms. We're going to yes. hit them. They're, right. they're going to come. They're going to happen. So oh, that's good, Larry. If your business is healthy and you're on top of your game when when things are, you know, kind of try to look. I always look out like three months, uh, one year, uh, five years, you know, that type of thing. And if you're always looking at that future of what's happening, uh, you know, this was a surprise for a lot of people. But I, I think it's a great lesson. I, I, I mean, it didn't affect me at all. I it it kept me on my toes. Mm -hmm. So if you were that, that person that was on your toes or make, you know, putting things in place to make your business healthy, mm -hmm. then you deserve what you get. I mean, and, that, and that's yep. sad to say, but that's what it is. Right. Exactly. Hey, exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's, a, it's a great point, Larry. I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I have a saying, you know, with my crews, uh, you know, get, uh, you know, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And sadly, most plumbing business owners are looking for this comfort you know, just enough work, just enough around the guys, <laughs> just, you just know, right. everything being just right. And it just don't work that way. No such thing. Okay. And if it's, it's like with anything, we're working out or, um, you know, what, you know, I can't say that it kind of escaped me, but the examples of, you know, if you're just looking for comfort, your body, it doesn't get used to what, what it takes in, in mm -hmm. the rough times. And so when the rough times hit the rough, you know, if you're not used to flying in rough weather, or sailing in rough seas, mm -hmm. the rough weather and the rough seas are going to happen. Yep. And so nothing you can you do know, about it. 